All right, part two here at Evansville, Indiana, Southern Indiana Antique Machinery Show. If you missed the last video, please do the like, share, and subscribe thing. Please post links to this video wherever uh, you discuss classic tractors, whether that be Facebook or other groups. It just helps out. And as I was saying in the other video, I have big plans uh, in the next year that involve classic tractors, uh, lawn and garden tractors, toy tractors, of course. And uh, I really want to expand the scope of this channel. I really want to grow it. I really want it to be a resource for people. Uh, I really want to get into doing interviews with people about their toys and their real tractors just to kind of see what makes people tick. So, um, but in order to do that, I'm going to be honest, we're going to have to grow a little bit um, because it's expensive traveling, uh, equipment to do decent interviews and things like that. It's expensive. And, uh, you know, we're just going to try to do the best we can with that and bring this love of tractors that I have and that I know you guys have uh, to everybody. So thanks for watching so far. Let's get into the tractors a little more. Those are some absolute beauties of farm malls over there. What a great pair those are. Wow. And then we've got, so the featured tractor is Farm Mall International this year here at the Southern Indiana Machinery Club. Look at this beautiful 400, and then they've got a case 400 right beside it. Rain's really starting to come down, guys, so, um, you have to bear with me I'm trying to get all this covered before the rain really hits hard. Don't know if I'll get there or not, but it's looking like on radar like this is going to set in for a while so I had to kind of rush out of the toy show to get this. I left my wonderful wife at the toy show selling. The toy show's been busy this morning so <laughs> I'm sure she's doing okay. I hope she can handle uh, any rush we get. So We've got a mini mo over here. Look at this 660 right here. This is absolutely beautiful. Firing order 153624. In case you were wondering. It's pretty cool. That's sitting there right on the block. 560 and then a 460. These are both narrows. Absolutely beautiful tractors there. Let's move on down towards the Fords. Try not to get in other people's way who are doing pictures and videos, and they're trying not to get in my way, and it's tricky. <laughs> it's Ferguson T035. That's very cool. Plainville, Illinois. Shoot, I know where that's at. Ferguson 35. Cool. And then an F40. John Deere 60. You can just hear that tractor. It's not even running, and you, you know what that sounds like. Very cool. Very nice job on the restoration. I love the chrome John Deere on the front there. That's a nice touch. Look at the 730. One of my all-time favorite tractors. Got the buddy seat up there for his wife or son or friend or granddaughter or grandson. Who knows? To ride with him. What a beautiful tractor. The old 67 40 20. We saw beautiful 40 20 in the first one. This one's uh, this one's kind of still in its work clothes, and that's just fine. These 40 20s are beasts that will go forever. We still have a couple at the farm. Check out this mini mo Maxi Moline. What it says there on the front. Got the radio on this 4020. I'll try to get a picture of the other side. Filter set up and all that stuff. And just neat, neat tractor. John Deere G. Another well, nice looking tractor. I'm wondering if that's an earlier restoration. Maybe it's got a little nick on the front here, but the paint in them for the most part looks really good. So it's either an earlier restoration or that's set in the shed for a very long time. One of the two. Very nice A, and then a G over here. 
It's a very nice tractor too. Model 77, kind of looks like it came fresh off the farm. Got the wheel weights back there, pretty nice. Got a little cub mower sitting here in front of it that looks pretty sweet. Same as work clothes as well. Look at these Super AI International. What a nice looking tractor that is. Wow. Boy, that's cool. Wouldn't that be fun to tool around on? Speaking of work clothes, look at this beast. 5020 diesel, clearly not stock. Um, kind of curious exactly what is going on here with this air cleaner setup and all of that. I uh, love the cab on it. Very neat. Uh, so it's a far cleaner, right? Am I, am I correct in that, guys? I believe that's what that, that is. Uh, check all clamps. It's kind of looking up. Yep, there's, there's the turbo, guys. Wow, very cool. What a great find. What a great, uh, what a great thing to come out and see at this show. How cool is that? Holy cow. I, I assumed there was going to be a turbo sitting up under the hood there. This young man's trying to start at 530. Let's just see if he gets it. Yeah. Listen to that, 530. It's a young man with a very sweet mullet. Good job, young man. Hand clutch? He knows what he's doing. How cool is that? There he goes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's cool. Good job. John Deere 50, and then a 130 farm all. Oh, I thought I was done with this row. I'm not. We've got the international truck. Over here, we've got a beautiful John Deere B hiding out. Got the chrome pipe on that guy. Anyway, let's just grab a quick, quick video of this, this fella here and then uh, we'll call it quits and move on to video three. Thanks for watching part two, really appreciate it. Very cool, well done, well done.